Okay, folks, there was a 6.5 earthquake in Indonesia last night. It's been downgraded to a 6.0. A little storm surge, a little mini tsunami happened in Malaysia, unrelated to that earthquake. And the Caribbean and Cocos Plate regions uh, continued their seismic activity with a 5.5 in Panama. Folks, in the Arctic Sea, you know, northern parts of Alaska and Russia, something terrible is going on. If you're squeamish, please don't watch this next part. Um, what's happening to these seals, they are being infected by some kind of disease and they don't know what it is but it's spreading up there and uh, this is really just tragic it's hard to know what to say about this <sighs> on Mars uh, NASA saying that they really might uh, have life there now uh, not in the past not in the future but now you should read the article uh, NOAA's CME Evolution Endless Spiral has been updated to show the double uh, ejections from three days ago. They expect these uh, to hit on the 16th or the 17th. Uh, maybe that was two days ago. But this is about the same time that we might uh, get some of the strong Corona Hole stream from uh, Corona Hole 488 right here. Another thing we're looking at is Solar Active Region 11374. Remember, that's the one we were asking for help on, see if you guys could spot a, uh, a Delta spot. Well, apparently NOAA's spotted one. They've... Uh, upgraded 11 uh, 374 to beta delta not beta gamma delta just beta delta the positive and the negative are um, easily severable but there are only six sunspots in this group and you know that's below the number magic number 10 uh, to see strong activity and you can see it's already pretty unstable putting out lots of ejecta um, and despite the fact that it it doesn't have a, be a, a gamma classification you can see here this is from last night it's not terribly uh, complex. The reason I'm showing you last night is because in a second I'm going to show you um, what it looks like today. You can see it's changing very rapidly, uh, not only in you know visual, uh, visual, physical form, but in magnetic complexity as well. Definitely keep an eye on this. Something else to keep an eye on. Right here in the bottom right part of the sun, we have a magnetic filament lift off, creating an ejection with a, a hider flare as well. Now, as we sort of play around with it here. I want you to watch how the filament disconnects on the far side first and actually comes out in an earth, uh, at least somewhat more earth directed uh, way than you would expect something coming off the uh, southwestern limb of the sun. So I think it's fairly clear that uh, this magnetic filament uh, may have a chance to impact earth's magnetosphere. We'll wait on confirmation of that. Last but not least, folks, coming up here, right down there at the bottom, and you can see it kind of streak through. They haven't cleaned up the images yet. That's Comet Lovejoy. Uh, as this thing approaches the sun the next few days, let's watch for uh, some more increased activity, solar flares, coronal mass ejections, especially from those active regions facing Earth. Be safe, everyone.